parents come to me to ask about their child if their child is being um, a sore loser or cheats at games, especially games with rules like a board game, and that it upsets the whole family, and their siblings, and so on. What I want to talk to you about is the idea that if a child is having a hard time with rules and is lying or cheating or trying to change the rules and be unfair, there's an issue here where they're feeling like too much of their self-esteem is wrapped up in them being the winner and that the idea is is that we want to fill them up from the bottom up to make them feel admired and successful and the way to do that if you look at it from the point of view developmentally of a young child so when a baby is learning to crawl or to walk they want to be admired and they want the parents to clap and say wow you're so good at that um, you're so fast, you're so strong, you jump so high. Um, and when a baby turns into a toddler and jumps off the couch and says, Superman, and keeps saying, mommy, watch, that they want you to be like, wow, you're Superman, and really to enjoy the mastery that they're experiencing. And that's the basis for feeling confident and competent, is developmentally matched challenge level that allows the child with a little bit of effort and a little bit of reaching to succeed. And then the moment of recognition that they look at you as the um, as their parent and that they want to see in your eyes that, yeah, the celebration and the connection, that gives the child a sense of filled up from the inside of um, I am admired, I am worthy. So that gives you a basis for them being able to go out on the playground and play by the rules and not be a sore loser and not have it be such high stakes if you do lose. Uh, and so my recommendation to parents is to back off of, if your child is having these issues, back off of the rules games and do things that are more cooperative games. So a simple idea is instead of playing a game where it's a score and it's, you know, one um, down and one up, you could do something cooperatively, like um, see how many times you can bounce the balloon up in the air um, and collectively get to um, 20, you know, 20 passes. So rather than thinking, you know, I'll pass it to you and see if I can make it so that you um, drop the balloon. Uh, so anything that you can do to get away from competition and make more cooperation is really going to get you more towards the possibility of having that shared joy and the um, having the kind of sense of recognition that the child is seeking. And if they with you say, ha ha, you lost, I won, you, it's better to actually say, hey, yeah, you are really good at that. And so that's going to give you the basis for a child who will be more confident and be able to be a good team player.